Good morning, Quadcopter101 here, and let's get today's shout-out out of the way. Today's shout-out goes to Bobster986. Bobster986 was the first to say first on one of my recent videos, and thus one's a shout-out, so congratulations. Good morning, Quadcopter101 here with the second flight of the Predator. Um, the first flight, you know, I speculated that this could probably lift an all-in-one camera, and that's the object of today's flight. Because of this increased wing surface area, this has a lot of lift. And hopefully, uh, as compared to this C-17, which I flew, I, would, I tried to fly it with FPV. It barely could hold an FPV camera in the wind. But I'm hoping this one will have a lot less problems, and that's what we're going to find out today. Uh, the way I got it hooked up is all I got is some sticky tape there and some rubber bands to hold this all-in-one in place. It doesn't matter what all-in-one you use. They're all about the same, to tell you the truth, folks. Uh, just go get yourself a cheap one and have fun with it. But uh, the way I got it plugged in, we're going to plug it in and run it off this little 3.7 volt, 300 mil amp per hour battery that I have velcroed onto the back there and we should be good to go so let's go for a flight of this thing and see how it performs hope you enjoy this flight okay I am ready for flight here I got the camera turned on I got the drone fired up uh, let's see if it actually will lift this I have a wind coming yeah, general that direction Hold on. Yep. <laughs> too heavy let me try it one more time folks and I'm gonna move the battery back Okay, what I'm going to do, folks, is I'm going to move the center of gravity back. Hopefully that'll give it a little bit of upward lift. But the way I'm going to do that is I'm just, you know, this is just attached by Velcro. And I'm going to move the battery back a bit. Say it about there. And hopefully that'll give us a little more upward pitch. So let's try that again one more time. Ready? Touch your fingers, hold your nose, and here we go. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that. Did you see that bug? <laughs> Forget hand launching it. Okay, I'm going to try to switch to FPV. FPV flying now. Did you see that, folks? <laughs> well, it's flying. Hard left turn coming back. Reducing throttle a bit too high. I was going to sit down and fly. We're not going to do that. I'm going to just stand up. Reducing throttle even more, but hey, it's doing a great job. And I took off from a dirt field, and I can't believe this actually lifted off the ground. But I'm trying to bring it down, lowering the throttle even more. Hard left turning. It lifts it really easily once you find that center of gravity. I'm trying to bring it down even lower. Let's go over the green field. Turn it to the right. It's doing a, actually doing a beautiful job of holding this camera and flying this camera. Try to come down lower though. Because I want to do low and slow flybys. And uh, it's actually lifting that camera very well. And I'm going too far away. I got to keep it closer. Reducing the throttle almost all the way now, folks. So I don't know why I didn't want to take off with a hand launch, but it sure is darn tootin' did a good job once I took off from the ground. Okay, let's fly toward us here, overhead. The wind's picking up here a bit. Yeah, I'm feeling it. No throttle, more throttle! <laughs> More throttle. Try to fly. I want to fly through the trees if I can. You know, like I do with my quadcopters. I'm going to try it. More throttle. More throttle. <laughs> More throttle. <laughs> more throttle. <laughs> Even more. Okay, so I, I got a feeling that battery might be getting a little bit weak. But there we go. Flying FPV with this thing. I'm amazed that it can do this. <laughs> I really am. But it's doing it very, very well. And that's also I'm amazed that it can do it very, very well. <laughs> Cutting back the throttle again so it comes back lower. Let's try to make a little hard left turn. More throttle, more throttle, more throttle. 
Can you see it on? I'm not going in the sun, am I? Probably. <laughs> Hard left turn. Boy, this works great. Fantastic. And it's just a cheap little all-in-one on there. And a cheap little low-C battery. <laughs> Love it. So for 20, let's see, this thing is about 30 bucks, I believe, the, the airplane. And uh, the all-in-ones, you can get them, off. I've seen them under 20. And the uh, low C, or little white low-C batteries are around about $3. So uh, 30, 50, about 53 bucks you can get this. <laughs> Something like that, you know. You can set this up for yourself. So I'm going to call it quits here soon, folks. I don't want to run that battery all the way down, but, and the wind is picking up too. It's getting breezy here today. So coming around, coming around. Let's hear that. Coming around. Boy, this is a great flyer with this thing. It doesn't even notice it. It, it did notice it from the, um, the, uh, what do you call it? But we're gonna land it, hold on. Coming in for landing. <laughs> How'd you like that landing, folks? Hey. How'd you like that landing, folks? Oh, my shirt today. How'd you like my shirt today? <laughs> yeah, take the camera, thank you. For that. So, what did we learn today? Yeah, this can easily lift an all-in-one camera. I was surprised. It does a real good job of lifting it. Um, the thing is, though, it didn't like to be hand-launched. You're going to need to take off from a, um, a field, you know, find yourself some nice flat ground to give you a nice runway takeoff. But once it's in the air, it stayed in the air, and it is breezy today, folks. It did a good job. I was surprised. So I hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101 with the uh, little Predator drone. Signing out.